Dr. Daniel Goleman coined the term emotional intelligence, or EQ, and he likened it to traditional intelligence, or IQ, except EQ is about how smart we are with the human connection. In other words, how effectively we manage ourselves and our relationships. Goleman's research launched a new movement in the world of business and management. Every organization achieves its goals through a series of daily conversations, interactions, and decisions. Each of these involves humans, and the more emotionally intelligent they are, the more effective they will be on every level. Emotional intelligence has four main components that can be plotted on a matrix. The first area is self-awareness, which focuses on how well you know yourself, including your values, strengths and weaknesses, in comparison to how others perceive you. The next area is self-control, which is about managing your emotions and actions in productive and healthy ways. The third area is our awareness of others, knowing their emotions and needs, as well as their skills, preferences, and other aspects of diversity. It's also about extending empathy. Finally, the fourth area is building relationships and how we utilize our awareness of others to maximize their potential and our relationship. Within these four quadrants, there are 20 competencies. Competence has two aspects, proficiency and frequency. Proficiency or skill is how good you are at something. A common way to assess proficiency is to rate it on a scale like low, medium, and high level. Let's use skiing as a comparison. Someone who has a low level of skiing would be able to do a snowplow to control their speed and possibly do some very slow turns. A person with medium skill should be able to go faster, do parallel turns, and control their skis to avoid running into things. A skier with high level of skill can go very fast, turning around moguls and even navigating on different kinds of snow. They would ski on hills that are steep and sometimes include obstacles. The good news is that your proficiency, your skill level, can improve with lessons and practice. The other aspect is frequency, or how often you do something when faced with the opportunity. Let's take the EQ competency of exercising emotional self-control. During the times you've impulsive or distressed feelings, how often do you manage them in a way that's not disruptive to others? Let's say you do this almost all of the time. You might rate yourself at 90% frequency. If you only do it about half the time, you might rate yourself at 50%, and if you really struggle with this, you might say 10%. I like looking at frequency because it's an easy way to get better at something. Increasing the frequency of a desired behavior by 10 or 20% can have a huge impact.